Mm. Something start as a prototype and refining it to an end product is very gratifying. Two uh, Central Florida entrepreneurs are on a mission to turn the drone here. world upside down. The use of drone technology has really taken off in recent years. Yeah, now two men say they've created a drone that could fight crime and save lives and stay in the air longer than anything else on the market. You know, we really want to be successful and make something out of ourselves. It's a classic case of David versus Goliath. A battle not fought with sticks and stones, but with drones. If you're going to compete in this market, you got to come with it. You have to be ready to sacrifice your personal life if you're going to, I mean, it's just such a competitive market. In a blacked out building in Central Florida, an ex-paintball worker and a former engineering student are taking on the big boys of drone aviation by building a better drone. We can draw something up in a day and then maybe later on that day or even the next day we'll have that part done. And this is no toy. Basically it's a two-stroke engine. Uh, once it started the gas engine uh, actually powers a brushless motor in the back which generates electricity that powers the drone. Almost all consumer and industrial drones on the market today average only a few minutes of flight time. But the boys at Harris Aerial promise more, much more. Drones um, that are carrying about the same type of size payload as this one does are only flying for about 25 to 30 minutes, whereas this drone, you know, can fly the same payload for about three to five hours. The implications are astounding. Think search and rescue, disaster response, or... For instance, we just were talking with uh, the Miami-Dade Fire Department and they want to use a drone to be able to go out up to six miles offshore to inspect these ships while they're coming in. 90% of Harris Aerial's components are made in-house, and they say that's what gives them an advantage. We do lots of custom camera um, uh, configurations, like the one that you can see here. Uh, we drew and pretty much fabricated it in a day, as opposed to spending probably a couple couple thousand dollars and waiting two, three, maybe even a month. But it's the machine they haven't shown us yet that's getting all the buzz. Soon they plan to launch a heavy lift drone that can carry an eye-popping 400 pounds and be cheaper than the other guys. Our competition in, in that in that part of the industry is selling similar models for, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, where as ours, you know, won't even cost six figures. Not bad for a couple of upstarts for whom failure is not an option. We hope we see tons and tons of interest in these drones and I think one day we, we might we might it might pay off, literally. Harris Aerial plans to use its gas powered drone to break the world flight record as well, which is currently four hours and forty minutes.